Well, hello everybody. In this episode, we are going to be talking about this little guy right here behind me. We call it a booster pump. We're going to be talking about what it's for. We're going to talk about the codes. We're going to talk a little bit about how to rough in for a booster pump and uh, how to install it. So let's get started. So what is a booster pump? What does it do? Well, basically, it boosts your PSI, it boosts your water pressure, and it does help out with your flow rate, get you up to where you need to be. Uh, most booster pumps are going to boost the pressure by about 30 PSI. So if you're living in a house and it's got 45 PSI and you add a booster pump to it, you're going to get 75 PSI roughly, which is our target pressure that we're looking for in residential new construction plumbing. Now, there is some codes to this and I got a little chart here. Uh, these are the required codes uh, for PSI to your fixtures. And as, as you can see, there's a tub and it's asking for like four gallons a minute uh, at 20 PSI. So if you can't meet what's on the chart, uh, you have to, by code, have a booster pump on that system. But as you can see, these are very low, low, low pressures. Now, for us in the new construction biz, uh, where booster pumps came in handy for us was with our tankless water heaters. Now, a tankless water heater has to maintain a certain amount of flow rate in order for it to work and to stay working. Well, if you're dealing with some really low pressures, like that 20 PSI, your tankless water heater is never going to kick on. So, for us, that's where booster pumps came in. It was kind of, we had to, it wasn't a code thing that was pushing us to have the pumps. Uh, it was pretty much to get those tankless water heaters to work. Uh, and the other thing was, uh, most houses nowadays have irrigation systems out, out front. It's uh, pretty common. Well, if you're only running about 40 something PSI on a typical uh, irrigation system with its zones and stuff, you're not going to throw that water far enough and you could risk some dry dead spots in your grass, especially when it's brand new and it hasn't taken hold yet. Um, so let's talk about roughing the thing in. All right, I got a little diagram here, uh, kind of what you're going to do with your booster pump. You're going to put it in line. Uh, it's going to come off the water meter or a well or whatever is providing your water and it's going to come into your house. Now, your booster pump has to be in a location where it's accessible. Uh, I've seen some of them outside under those big fake rocks. Uh, a lot of times we put them in a garage. You can put it under a stairwell, but you have to have an access to it. You have to be able to enter that area and access that pump because pumps can go bad. Uh, pumps can leak. It has to be someplace where you can get to it. You can't just wall it up and forget about it. But as far as those irrigation systems went, uh, when you're roughing it in, you have that main line coming in and then you would have to add another line teeing off to go out to run that irrigation system, which is where a lot of our guys have problems because they don't understand what that extra pipe is for. Uh, our guys put our pipe in red here so they would know what it is. The two looping together, the bottom coming in is your from the city and then the top is feeding your house. And then on from there, it would go to the location of where your shutoff is going to be and your pressure regulator. Well, here's an example. This is where I chose to install the booster pump for our training center here. Now, booster pumps are pretty simple. It's just a motor. It's the pump attached to the front of it. And there's a pressure switch in there to tell it to kick on and off. Uh, and it does actually have a little check valve in there, but it's real simple. And then it's got a plug here. So basically, you're going to hook the water coming in and going out to it. Uh, and if you didn't have that irrigation system, you would tee off of the top here to tie that in so those uh, landscapers have their thing. But yeah, you're just going to plug it in and pretty much forget about it because it's going to do its job. Uh, now, out here in the training center, I, I do have the ability to add all kinds of gauges and experiment with some other things. And uh, so I've got a gauge here. Um, I've got a gauge up there, which is after my pressure regulator, uh, and then I've got a main shutoff. So we're going from the pump to the shutoff to the uh, pressure regulator, and then um, I've got another gauge up there. Now, playing around, uh, I decided to add the uh, hydro pneumatic pressure tank back here, or um, a bladder tank uh, similar to what's on a well. All that's really doing is it's giving me uh, extra volume of water. 
to help keep the flow rate up. Uh, that way the pump's not running as much. It'll build pressure and then it'll use the pressure out of that tank. It's very similar to what a well's doing. Um, this just a little bit smaller. This is kind of extra equipment. This isn't required. This isn't put on every house. Of course, the booster pump isn't put on every house either. We only do it when the code requires us to. Uh, but this is just kind of a neat little setup that I put together to show how all this stuff works. Um, well, I hope you learned something about booster pumps. I, I hope that little rough end part makes it a little bit easier and you can kind of understand what's going on with them. Thanks a lot, guys.